Queensboro Bridge, the 59th Street Bridge, we know it can get busy with cars. But what about pedestrians? Viewers have told us there is not enough space on the bridge for everyone. CBS 2's L. McLogan covers Queens and takes us to Long Island City. Since Sam Tufani moved to Long Island City from Australia two years ago, the Queensboro Bridge has been his link to Manhattan. But, he says, getting across without a car isn't so easy. Uh, it's a little scary. Crowding and speeding on the narrow pathway that pedestrians and bikers share makes him feel unsafe. Especially at night when it gets darker. There's a lot of mopeds that drive on the bike lanes too, yeah. which is very dangerous. Locals have been fighting for years for a safer way to cross without a car. That's why the city announced plans to transform the bridge's south outer roadway into exclusive space for pedestrians by 2022. That deadline came and went. We what is actually. the timeline? Can you give us the at least the months. At a hearing in March, council member Julie One pressed the DOT for a completion date. So probably in early 24. So now you're changing it to early 24. Last time we spoke, you told me that it will be open by late 2023. The estimate has since been pushed back a fourth time, now to the middle of 2024. Year after year, we're seeing Department of Transportation drag their feet. One says the pathway is too narrow to meet federal guidelines. They had multiple pedestrian injuries. I am a five foot four, 130 pound woman, and the bike lane and the pedestrian pathway each are about the size of my shoulder. Some drivers oppose the redesign, worrying it could worsen traffic on an already clogged bridge. In the morning, forget it. It took me almost like 40 minutes just to get over. Right now, we have a city where majority are working class. Council member one says most of her constituents don't have cars. Yet their life is being put at risk for the convenience of people and vehicles. We reached out to the Department of Transportation, who told us in part they are, quote, committed to expanding cycling and pedestrian space, unquote, but that they can't begin until repairs finish on the upper deck of a bridge that's more than a century old. Hopefully they can, like, get it moving quicker. Sam Tufani looks forward to crossing the bridge in peace. It's unfortunate that uh, you're facing this issue. In Long Island City, El McLogan, CBS 2 News.